Okay, so uh, we are to graph this um, quadratic function here. Now straight away, remember when x equals 0, the y-intercept, this is going to be left, okay? So 0, 2 is my y-intercept. Now the x-intercepts, okay, we take the whole equation and we set it equal to 0. Now I can factor a negative 2 out of here, that's x squared plus 2x minus 1, okay? So I don't need that. Now, unfortunately, this won't factor. So I'm going to put it into the quadratic equation formula. You could complete the square. But I get negative 1 plus or minus root 2. But we need to plot that. So that's 0 0.41 or thereabouts and negative 2.41. That's what I get if I actually put it into my calculator or approximately. At least that way I can graph it. Okay, so uh, my x-intercepts. So I suppose there they are. Okay, so yeah, I should write it like this, 0 0.41, comma, 0, and negative 2.41, comma, 0, okay, as x-intercepts. So where's that going to be? Horrible. I'm going to put a dot about here and a negative dot about there. Well, there we go. Right, the vertex. Okay, the vertex, remember, is negative b over 2a. So that is negative negative 4, which is positive 4. All over two lots of a, which is, that's negative 4, okay, because a is negative 2. Uh, to make sure that's okay, that will give me negative 1. Okay, negative 1 for the x coordinate. I have to plug that back in and get the y coordinate. So, here we go. I'm going to do it over here. Put negative 1 where x is, put negative 1 where x is. All right, negative 1 squared is positive 1 times negative 2 is negative 2. Negative 4 times negative 1 is positive 4, plus 2, what's that? It's going to give me 4. Okay, so negative 1, positive 4. So I can mark that on there. Um, negative 1, positive 4, about there. Okay, now I didn't put my y-intercept on, did I? 2, there. Okay, and that's looking good. That's looking pretty good, because now I can graph the thing, do something like this. There we go, okay? So that's the graph, because I can always do that when I've got the x, y-intercepts and the vertex. Now the rest of this... Can you see the axis of symmetry is that x-coordinate of the vertex? So x equals negative 1, because that's what we found. Um, the maximum value. Well, the maximum value is the positive 4. That's it. That's the maximum value. That's the y value. Okay, and it occurs at x equals negative 1. The vertex form. Well, you can use this to write the vertex form. Okay? In other words, x plus 1 squared plus Four, okay. Now I need to double check that, okay, because if I do, if this is not going to work because if you see this, this has a negative two in front. If I was actually foil this, I'd get x squared plus two x plus one plus four, okay. So that would give me x squared. Well, if I that, that wouldn't give me this, it wouldn't give me the original equation, okay. Now if I stick the negative two in front of it because it does have a negative 2 in front of it, okay, right at the very start, then if I do that again, I'm going to get, right, uh, again, x squared plus 2x plus 1, but if I multiply everything by negative 2, this is going to give me, let me get some space down here, uh, negative 2x squared, negative 4x minus 2, when I add the 4, okay, that will give me negative 2x squared minus 4x plus 2, which is exactly what we started up up here, okay? So again, that's not too bad, but the vertex form is take the vertex if you want to. Take the vertex, write it in the vertex form, which is that part there, but then I realised I needed the extra negative 2, especially as it's got it at the start there, okay? So that's that. Um, that's the vertex form there. Right, domain and range. Well, the domain of all quadratics is negative infinity to positive infinity, okay? Now, the range, I'm now going to take a look at the graph. I can see it's coming from negative infinity, and it's going as far as that positive 4 on the y-axis, and it includes it. That's that first question done, okay? Let's take a look at some of these. Now, this, again, is you taking either the vertex or the x-intercepts and creating a function, okay? It's a bit like on that previous one we had to find the vertex form and make sure it works. You can do one of two ways. If this is the vertex, then x minus 3 squared minus 4 is the vertex form. Okay. Now, that's it. Maybe that's the answer. All right. 
It also is this. If I've got a positive 1 as an x-intercept, it's come from that. If I've got a positive 5, it's come from that. If I foil that, I get x squared minus 6x plus 5. Okay? Now, I've just got to make sure that either one of these will, you know, if I think that's the answer, is that going to be in it? If I think this is the answer, are these x-intercepts going to be in it? Okay? So if I was to, let me just foil this part here. See if I actually get the equivalent of this over here. Okay, which I will do. Um, x minus 3 squared is x squared minus 6x plus 9, then minus the 4. Yes, oops, minus the 4. Yes, I will get 5. I will get this. So either way, I'm going to get that. Okay, so um, that, I'm just making sure that if that's the answer. Uh, do I get uh, negative 3 positive 4 if I do the vertex on this. I think that's it. I don't think you have to go any further now because there's no more points to prove it. Um, do I get... Let's me double check on putting the vertex into here. Is this negative 3, positive, negative 4, positive 3, negative 4, the vertex? Negative b over 2a. Right, negative b is 6 over 2. That gives me the 3. Okay, yep. If I put 3 back in, will I get negative 4? So 9, 3 squared is 9, minus 8. Yes, I do. Okay, uh, I will get that. Right, so that's it. So that's all I had to do was just... So it's one of those two. I don't, It doesn't really matter which one you write. Uh, it's one of those two answers. So again, all I did was either use the uh, vertex form to write the answer or just use the uh, x-intercepts to write the answer. Right, this last one here. Negative... Well, I'll see on the page. Negative 2... Now, if negative 2 is a 0, what it wants you to do is do synthetic division on 1, 2, negative 1, negative 2. Now, that is definitely what I'm going to have to do around here on another video, okay? Um, so, I said, but what happens to this one? This will actually do factor by grouping. I can actually do this. What can I factor out of the first two? x squared. And I'm left with x plus 2. What can I factor out of the second two? Negative 1. And I'm left with x plus 2. Okay, so I factor those again, I get x plus 2. Now, can you see that's where the negative 2s come from, right there. I'll also be left with x squared minus 1, and that is x plus 1, x minus 1, if you factor it. So negative 2 is a 0, because it's given to you. Negative 1 is a 0, and positive 1 is a 0. And the linear factors would be what you've already written um, here, okay? The other one is will be, of course, the x plus 2, because minus 2 was a 0, okay? So that would be that. But remember, I factored that. I didn't do synthetic division. I will do it on this in the next video.